somebody asked me how to hack the daily challenges. It's not literally hacking, just so everybody knows. It's not cheating by any means. It's just taking advantage of the way the game is planned or played um, on these daily challenges here to use them to get the most points for Clash of Zones and for the daily challenge itself. So the Clash of Zones is going on right now. I've got 30 million points right now. So that's really good, of course, but I can do a lot more. So I'll go ahead and uh, do this 100% ticket here in just a minute. But the real key to hacking it, if you will, is knowing what's coming, knowing what you're doing right now. So where I am, uh, it's currently 10.43 in the morning, which is 13 hours after uh, reset in the game. Uh, 10 hours and now 45 minutes. I look over here at what happens at a lo at this time, which is the all hero development, and then next hour, so at 11 o'clock, I'll have wisdom medals and zombies. So one key to this is understanding that if I'm going to do this hacking of the of the event, is to not do any wisdom medals during this period of time, so then I can use them next period of time and get points. So right now I'll open. Uh, I'll open tickets, and I will, uh, I probably will use some wisdom medals too, because I have a ton, but, but, uh, make sure that I don't use them all. So I'll go back into the game here, and I'll pop that ticket. So I have 30 minutes, um, from now, so I have until 14 minutes after the next hour. So once you get the ticket, you know, start start popping. But uh, I won't show you all of this because it's just a waste of time for you and it'll just end up looking silly to you. So I'll just get that going. And I'll go until I get about 4 million points and I'll stop. Because once I get to 4 million points, it's just a waste at that point in regard to the daily challenge. Um, so I'll use my wisdom medals as I need um, and save a bunch. I have about 4,000 right now, so no problem. So I've now popped a bunch of tickets, used some wisdom medals, and I am at 3.6 million points with uh, wisdom medals being worth 2,000 points each. Uh, I need to do 200 more to get to 4 million points for this daily challenge. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, actually, now that I think of it, this is when I can use, yeah, I can use Hero XP. So every 10 that I use is worth 1. Since I need uh, 400,000, I need to do 4 million XP. So... If you have 4 million XP, which if you do daily challenges all the time, you will. Uh, I will raise the level of one of these guys, probably Executioner. So I'll raise her level by 4 million points. So that gave me exactly 400,000 points here. And I'll stop. I won't do any more for this period. And it raised my score to 54 million points on Clash of Zones. So I'll stop this recording here in just a second and start up again after five minutes after the hour so that I can uh, use the rest of those I get the most points or get the most use out of the Clash of Zones ticket while also you doing the daily challenge for the next hour and getting get, getting the benefits of that third chest. 
Some time has passed. Uh, we're now into the next daily challenge. And uh, just to be sure, you can check and see. Oh, so I've got eight more minutes on this daily challenge period um, that I can use that Clash of Zones ticket while it's still active. And just to look again what I'm allowed to use. So this one is basically unlocking skills and using wisdom medals or a killing zombies and that's it. Can't use it for anything else. So I will use some wisdom medals to increase levels on a few of these skills. And then I'm going to show you how to game the system a little bit. I think that she's already will max her out. So with what I've just done, I've gotten a lot of points, but I still need two million more to get to uh, the third chest. And you run into the issue of not wanting to use all your tickets just to get these chests. Or not wanting to use all your wisdom medals, excuse me, just to get these chests. And so you have to really be thoughtful about it. And what you can do is you can look at these heroes that you don't ever use. They just sit down here and you end up just selling them or um, exchanging them for wisdom medals later. Go in and you can upgrade them. Use wisdom medals. So I've upgraded her to level 10. I'm never going to use this person. So I should be at the chest. I might have gone over. I went over a little bit. So now I've made the third chest. And you think about it. And... But I just used all those wisdom medals and I can't use them again, right? So that's sucky. But I have the ability to go in and split this hero. And I'll get a thousand of those back. Now that's not all of them. It's about 75% of what I've spent on this person. Um, but I do get those back that I can reuse them. So I can reuse a thousand. Um, and use those toward the next next hour. Um, and so I've gotten to the next chest, able to move up. But so ultimately it's the the easiest way to score points on these daily challenges is by by doing that. So when I go in and I'll split it, it will give me all of those back and I can do this again. So I can do this several more times today. And again, it's all based on information on this sheet. Daily challenges sheet breaks down and tells us what to do, what we can do. So throughout the day, we just finished All Hero Development, Wisdom Medals, and Zombies. The next hour is going to be All Hero Development again, then Hero Recruitment and Zombies, then All Heroes, and so on and so forth. So you can just time it just right, and this works on every day, but there's different things to do on each day. This is how you do it on Hero Day. On Build Day, you can see if you wait uh, six hours, seven hours after a reset, you can do two hours of training that you get credit for the daily challenge and for the Clash of Zones. Um, or excuse me, on training day, I think I said build day. So on the kill event day and on the training day, you can do that. Um, and then on the gathering day, same thing. You can get access to it. So uh, anyway, let me know if you have any other questions, and uh, hopefully you liked the video. Thanks very much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe so that I can keep making content for you. And if you have any questions, ask right here below in the comments.